KTSM was the first to bring you this as breaking news at noon. Razor wire meant to keep migrants from crossing the border is being taken down along a stretch of the Rio Grande by the Texas military. Our border report team alerted us about the piles of wire. Our KTSM 9 News reporter Jesus Baltasar is live from the border with reaction from local leaders and political groups. Jesus. Estela, we're still trying to gather more information from Texas officials and Governor Greg Abbott's office and what this all means, but as you take a look behind me, you'll see that there's still large portions of the El Paso sector that have barbed wire. Now, earlier this week, Governor Greg Abbott shared a post that they will continue to deploy new strategies to address immigration. On Tuesday, via his ex-account, Abbott said that the Texas National Guard soldiers are in the process of constructing barriers that will be placed along the border here in El Paso. The post read in part, Texas continues to use all possible strategies to deter and repel illegal entry into our state, end quote. Now, these videos captured by our border report partners show what some sections in the U.S.-Mexico border in the El Paso region look like today. The El Paso County judge says he's not surprised, saying the state did not communicate or has ever tried to collaborate with local leaders to find appropriate solutions for the borderland. It has to be political and it has to be, you know, him wanting to have relevance in, in the political party. Uh, and I can't see anything that's going to be helpful. Uh, the numbers are down. This would be a great opportunity to re sort of recalibrate, try to figure out what's best for our community. Um, you know, being able to have discussions with the state government would be very, very favorable, uh, yet that's not where we're getting. KTSM reached out to the local Republican Party requesting for comment on Abbott's latest efforts. They, say, they sent a statement reading, Governor Abbott has to step in to protect El Pasoans, Texans, and all Americans from the damage caused by the Biden administration. Whoever is pulling the strings of puppet Biden continues to ignore existing immigration law, giving cartels the freedom to continue trafficking dangerous men, innocent children, and drugs through the borders." End quote. Now, San Maniego said that when migrants are forced to get stopped and get stuck in Ciudad Juarez, they become prey for cartels, but says that when the immigration process is flowing smoothly, that does not make the cartels function. Later at 6, you'll hear from immigrant advocates on the matter. Reporting from the U.S.-Mexico border, Jesus Baltasar, KTSM 9 News.